Good morning, gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> try as I might, I had a hard time trying to find out how uh, the counties work together within the corporate environment. And I had no problem finding, finding uh, <clears throat> Clayton County's Commissioner Jeff Turner as the CEO of Clayton County of. Okay. I did, however, have a problem finding uh, Mr. Smith as the CEO of Henry County of. As a matter of fact, Henry County of, we don't, we can't really find any officers at all. But, but, what we did find is that uh, through corporate research, the Henry County Office Industrial Park Corp, located at 110 Zach Henry Boulevard, shows that Mr. Smith is the active CEO. Hmm. Okay. And we also found that uh, the Henry County Governmental Finance Corporation, which, by the way, is doing a hell of a job. They really are. Uh, the way you guys are handling this stuff is incredible. The uh, Government Finance Corporation, located at 110 Zach Henry Boulevard, also has the active CEO as Mr. Smith. Now, right now I have to put forth an open records request because I need to know how Henry County Government Finance Corporation is tied to the Henry County Finance Group that we have here. Because nowhere in any of the documents that I've, I've seen or presentations, and I don't mean to disparage anybody in the Finance Department, but nowhere have I seen anything that correlates with the finance corporation. And to my knowledge, nobody here is aware that these corporations are running in the background. You know I've told you in the past that I believe that you guys are operating as corporations and not as government entities that we have elected. And this kind of goes to show that. So the open records request is to give me the correlation between CEO Tommy N. Smith of the Henry County Office Industrial Park Corporation, which is active right now and deals with legislative bodies and the county commission, and also the Henry County Government Finance Corporation with an active CEO of Tommy Smith, and how they tie together with the finance department here in Henry County. Now, having said that, I have to move on because you, all, you also heard me talk about the conflicts that are with the court system. Whenever a state charge is brought against a defendant, you will notice that it is the state, not the state, but the state of Georgia that is the plaintiff in this. A simple search of Dun and Bradstreet will show that the Georgia Bar is the State Bar of Georgia, which is State of Georgia. Now folks, <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong here, can a plaintiff sit as a judge? Because all of our judges are attorneys at one point. So how can, how can the judges be the plaintiffs at the same time? Dunn and Bradstreet clearly shows that that is the case. And the affiliations are incredibly long for anybody who wants to look. State of Georgia is the plaintiff. State Bar of Georgia is affiliated with State of Georgia. How, in the good Lord's name, can they not be a conflict of interest? How are we prosecuting all of these people? How? Someone needs to answer this because we have conflicts galore. The corporations run this county. They run this state, they run this country. The information is there to see. Anybody who wants to look at the information contained in Dun & Bradstreet and other credit reporting agencies, 
will confirm my words 100%. I want to thank you very much for hearing me today. Thank you.